All right, welcome everyone. My name is K. Michael Russell. I am a comic book colorist, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, so in this video today, it's going to be a quick one. I'm going to be showing you guys how I did the uh, God rays, I guess you could call it, the uh, the glowing effects on this postal number twenty twenty, yeah, uh, cover that just I just did a video on, just uploaded a video on. Uh, I've already got a handful of questions from uh, YouTube and Patreon about how we did that. So uh, the PSD file for this is on my Patreon account, by the way, now. So you can go get that there if you are a patron. So this is a really cool looking effect, and it's really easy to do. It's much easier than it looks like it would be. And you can use this on comic art or photos or really anything. And so I'll show you guys how this works. And uh, so I've just got a black background for now to keep this simple so you guys can see. Uh, Alright, so on your tool, uh, the lasso tool, okay? Everybody knows the lasso tool. You should, <laughs> if you're familiar with Photoshop. Um, there is a setting up at the top called uh, Feather. And what that does, when it's at zero, which is usually where I keep it, anything that you select with it is going to have a hard edge, okay? There's no... Um, there's no feathering as they call it. There's no fade. It's not aliased in any way. Uh, it's just a straight jagged edge, which typically if you're making selections for flatting and uh, coloring and that kind of thing, this is usually where I leave it. Um, now, if you change the feather, I'm gonna, I've got presets for all of these over here. So I'm going to save it, change it to 10, and I'll make another shape here. And you'll see that it actually rounds off the edges. So no matter what I do, it's going to round them off. Uh, and when I refill it, now you can see there's a 10 pixel, what they call feather, from the base color into the background. All right, and and the lower, you could lower this or raise it. Uh, let me set it down to five, and make another selection, and change the color a little bit so you guys can see it, and to get my brush. All right, and now you can see, again, you've got that feather. It's not quite as, whoops, it's not quite as pronounced because it's just a, you know, a five on this one. And and you can go as big as you want on that. I mean, I've, I've got presets at 25 and 50 and, and all sorts of things here. So it just depends on, you know, the effect that you're looking for. And that's how I did those god rays. So I'm going to back this up. And let's just set it at 10 for a second. All right, so let's, now what I did, now when you're drawing with the lasso tool, freehand mode, you know, obviously it's freehand mode. Now what you can do is while you're drawing, you can hold down alt and it becomes a polygonal lasso. So I can do straight lines and I could also continue to draw or, um, or I could make straight lines. This is really, really handy for making uh, selections in Photoshop. So I just hold down Alt. Well, actually, I, I start my uh, uh, lasso tool and then hold down Alt. And I can do point to point selections here. All right. And now you can see that I've got that selection made. So I can go get my brush. That's it. How cool is that, right? So. That's all I did around that whole image. So I went through, as you can see, it's all sort of pointing toward the middle. Uh, so I went in and made a kind of a sunburst sort of effect, like something like this. I'm making it faster for YouTube purposes. <laughs> and then fill it in. Right? Looks pretty cool. This is hard light mode, by the way, if you're wondering about this brush mode. Um, so you can do this in comics art. You can do it with photos. Um, like, let's say that I want to, let's say there's an alien outside. An alien ship has landed and it is coming in through the windows. So, let's see, I'm going to exclude this little bit of curtain. And I'm just going to do this like that or something. Anyway, you guys kind of get the idea. Now an evil alien ship is landing outside and it's going to uh, abduct us all. So anyway, <laughs> my shape is horrible here. But I think you kind of get the idea. And and the more, that the larger you build that lasso, the bigger that feather is going to be. So I could just keep it simple like it's a big flashlight or something. You'll get a really soft 
edge on that that you you know you wouldn't get if the if the feather was set a little bit tighter so yeah that's how i made all of those god rays i had them on multiple layers because i wanted to be able to individually adjust those you know if the editor came back and said this is just too much glowing <laughs> which i was afraid of i wanted to be able to uh turn off different sections of it and you can also paint away sections with a mask uh, which i actually did on let me disable this mask uh, how do i do that again i can't remember yeah shift so you can see that the, originally those uh, god rays actually went closer to the center but i didn't really like how much of the art that covered so i just used a mask in photoshop to paint that out in the center and like i said it looks cooler than it uh, actually is to make <laughs> so uh anyway this was a fast one um hope you guys enjoyed it uh, as always be sure you check the description for my coloring course there's all 10 hours of video of lessons on all of this stuff and uh patreon account link is there you can go get the psd for this one even so anyway as always thanks for watching i will see you guys in the next one take care